Today, we are in the Uintas on the hunt for brook trout. Welcome into Hook'em High. I'm Zach, and I'm here with Derek. So, the main reason we're here today is because Derek over here, he has not caught a brook trout yet. Guess I'm a loser. That's the goal. So hopefully we can find some. We're up in the Uintas, just off of Mirror Lake Highway, and we've got our kayaks. Like, what are these things called? The Tuck Tech kayaks. Tuck Tech kayaks. Ones. We're gonna fold. They're foldable. We're gonna hike them up in there, and hopefully we'll get some nice ones. All right, we made it to the lake. It was an easy mile, a little bit harder with the kayaks, but it is totally worth it to get up here. I mean, it is gorgeous. So Derek is gonna show us how to set up one of these foldable kayaks. It takes a second. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see, they're very cooperative. So you gotta fold up the bow first. Get the other side. It's like origami. They have these little latches on them that you gotta get them together to keep the shape. And sometimes you really have to like pull one off. <laughs> gotta use some strength to get these going. Yeah. But all in all, it took them less than like five minutes. And you say you got a little foot rest right there you can adjust. That's pretty neat. Which could be a very comfortable seat. The seat could be a lot more comfortable, but for how lightweight it is and like the benefits of it, it, it I think evens out. Show the grooves that you like hook in there. You just snap into it? Yeah. Latch in your seat, so let's move. Well, that's about it. And there you go. That's it. Wow, that's a pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Lightweight. You can pick it up. Pretty lightweight, they fit in the back of your car. Yeah. Hmm. And he's off. So I'm gonna start off with my trusty Joe's fly. Love these dudes. We're gonna go with a black one for now. We'll see how that does. If anything changes, I'll let you know. All right, I've just got a tiger trout. He's pretty nice. It's actually a pretty good one. So they weren't liking black, so we decided to change it up. And uh, Derek said last time he was here, he got him off a of yellow, so I changed his citrus. But look at tiger trout, man. They are some of the most gorgeous trout. I love the orange bellies with the green tops. They're awesome. This guy's a pretty, pretty good guy. one, too. We're gonna let him go. There he goes. So this is a Sartreuse Marabou Jigs. Marabou Jigs always do well for me. I love them. So yeah, that's what we caught that tiger on. And it's gotten three bites so far. So this might be the jig of the day. Derek just got one off of a jigging wrap. Give me a minute now. How's he feel? Is he pretty good? I just caught the ground. I think you might have caught the, the ground. ground. No, never mind. He caught the ground. <laughs> Lost alarm. No. Very well could be. Oh no, he's a little bit. He's bigger. Oh, nice. <laughs> jump in the boat with you. Oh man. Yeah, he's a bigger one. Nicer. There you go. Alright, dude. There you go. That's not the same guy, is it? No, he's bigger. Look at that. Nice. The awesome thing about these tigers are they're a cross between a, a brown trout and a brook trout, and they are sterile. So all they do is just eat and eat so they can grow to enormous sizes pretty fast. This one's a pretty good one. I'd say he's about like a second year, but he's nice. There he goes. Just got another little dude. So that makes three for me. How many for you? <laughs> Goose egg. He's gotten bites though, guys. He's gonna get one. Do 
this kind of guy here, he's got a funny little face. Like a little, ooh. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, jeez. He's got like a little velociraptor face. Oh, look at here. He just got one on. Oh, that's actually a nice, nice brook trout. Dude, I the brook trout, your first one. We doubled up on brook trout, guys. We'll let this dude go. All right, you got him? Yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, right there. Fell off too? Yeah. Good that's job, nice dude. One. That's a nice brook trout. Look at him. Woo. Look at that. First one. How does it feel? First brookie. I'm excited. I didn't First... think it was one, so we're even more excited. <laughs> I know. We thought it was a tiger trout. <laughs> and like all the squiggling on the top. That was awesome. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he does have all the squiggling up there. What'd you catch him on? I caught him on... Just a white tube Just a jig. white tube jig. So as far as the jigs have been working, the spinners not so much. But congratulations, first catch for him for the day and his first brookie ever. Derek just got another one. All right, it's a nice tiger. Yeah, I'll get him. He's on my side here. That's actually a pretty good tiger, dude. Come here. Come here. <laughs> there you go. Wow, I got splashed all together. That's a nice tiger. Dude, yeah. I think that might be the biggest one today. Jeez. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> wow, I'd say he's about 15, 16 inches. Yeah. That's a good one. Nice, dude. So I just had a couple bites. He just got another brook trout. And uh, we got to a new place here, and it is hot. Good job. Did he get off? <laughs> he got off. <laughs> All right. That makes three for him now. So he's catching up on me. I can't let him beat me. Yeah. Step up the game. <laughs> okay. Just got another beautiful little tiger trout here. And um, I was actually in the middle of eating my snack. <laughs> and I threw on this little, um, this little hopper right here. And I just had it floating on the top. And uh, he went and got it, and he about swallowed it whole. It was an awesome, awesome tiger trout. It's pretty cool. I'm going to let him go here. There he goes. Woo. Got a jumper. All right, what'd you get him on? A little grasshopper, too? A little hopper. Just letting it sit out there. It's awesome, dude. Let's see him. Tiger. Nice little tiger. Good job. Yeah, so it's kind of died down with the, the, the lures. So we just put decided to put some hoppers out there in the shallow area. And they're taking them, actually. Yeah, Got him. Right Woo, right in the side of his mouth. Look at that guy. These tigers are pretty vicious, man. That's awesome right there. Just love that. The trees reflecting in the water. It's so beautiful out here. The big old mounds behind you. There just got himself a little tiger over there. Look at him. <laughs> and that makes another one for Derek. What is he? He's a brook. Nice. Brooke star. Second brook. He's got a nice little pink. I'll show you. Look at there. Wow. Second brook for the day, right? Number three. Number three, yeah. third brook. There you go. Man, they're fun. He got him right at the edge of the boat, too. Yeah. <laughs> Hit about four times. He just got another one. I think he's caught up to me now. Woo. Oh, no. <laughs> right at the end. Ah. And this makes us all tied up. Just got another tiger. Oh, tiger. He's a slippery guy. He's a slippery dude. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful green. It's almost like a leopard. All right, so Derek just caught another one while trolling. He's definitely put me to shame. But white is the new color. It's not green anymore, so it changed in the evening. But it's been fun. Well, I think we're about to head in and uh, call it a day. We've caught a lot of fish. Derek's caught, how many have you caught? Probably like nine. 
Caught nine, so that means I've caught seven or eight. So yeah, it's a good day. All right, it was a beautiful lake, beautiful day, and we caught lots of beautiful fish. Uh, yep, he caught yeah, his first brookie. It was great. We spent the whole day. <laughs> Couldn't complain. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing better than getting out here fishing yeah. and spending the whole day off of that. Plus, we thought it was going to be like 25 degrees, and it was really nice. Oh, yeah. It was super warm today. It felt like a summer's morning. It was weird. Weird. But, yeah, all in all, it was a good day. Caught lots of brook trout, lots of tigers, and um, we were actually surprised that green and white did really well here. So, you never know what you're gonna ha what's going to happen in the uh, Uintas.